Hello fellow sojourners, welcome to a short video on ladder safety. Every year we hear of sojourners who injure themselves while working on a ladder. We must remember that we don't mend as quickly nor as well as we used to. A fall from a ladder can result in terrible injury or even death. So let's be extra safe working around ladders. Well, this video covers some basic do's and don'ts for working on ladders. Let's begin with what we should do. We should select the right ladder for the job. There are many types of ladders available, each having a primary or specific purpose. The two most common ladder styles that we use are step ladders and extension ladders. These are usually made of fiberglass or aluminum. Some wooden ladders are still used, but not as common as the fiberglass or aluminum. Aluminum or other types of metal ladders should not be used in work involving electricity. Use a fiberglass ladder instead. When you need a ladder, only use a step ladder or extension ladder. Don't make do with stacked boxes, chairs, tables, bookcases, or other such items. Before you use a ladder, inspect it. A ladder is a tool. As with any tool, thoroughly inspect it before using it to determine its serviceability. Always look for loose or damaged rungs, steps, rails, or braces. Also check the feet of the ladder to see if there's any damage. If the ladder is damaged, repair or replace it. Carefully set up the ladder. Look around before you set it up. Check to ensure it will not contact electric wires, especially overhead wires. Set up the ladder on a solid level surface. Step ladders should be fully opened. When using an extension ladder, follow the four to one rule. This means the base should be one foot away from the wall or other vertical surface for every four feet of height. Ladders must extend above the top at least three feet and be tied off or have someone holding the ladder while you climb and descend. Be very careful when you climb and descend ladders. Always face the ladder and use both hands to climb and descend. Keep three of your limbs on the ladder at all times. Now let's focus on what not to do. Do not set up ladders in a cluttered area or traffic area such as a doorway. If you have to set up a ladder in this kind of an area, block the doorway and set up a barrier to keep someone from entering. Do not overload a ladder. Ladders have specific weight tolerances. Remember to consider your body weight as well as the weight of tools or other items on the ladder. Do not carry tools or other objects when you climb or descend on a ladder. Carry tools in a tool belt or raise and lower items with a hand line. Do not overreach. Keep your weight centered between the sides of the ladder. Do not use the top two steps of a ladder. Use the belt buckle rule. This means keep your belt buckle between two rungs. Also, do not straddle the top of a ladder. Remember these key points when using a ladder. Match the ladder with the job. Maintain at least three points of contact when climbing or descending a ladder. Remember the four to one rule and remember the belt buckle rule. As we age, we might gain wisdom from our experiences. One thing we don't want to gain is wisdom from an injury from falling off a ladder. Let's be careful out there. 